Hi, my name is Brian Trummer. I'm a DevOps consultant with Release Team. And in today's video, we're going to go over another section of what makes up a JIRA project. In today's video, we're going to go over priorities. This should be a quick one, but still a very important one. So, we've talked about already work item types and work types. And now we're going to talk about priorities in your project. So, as we are in this series, we are in a summary screen of a project. This is where admins can get to, but this is the easiest way to kind of talk about and display what a priority is. So we're going to go here down to priorities and you're going to see in this project that we're currently in, which is the mobile dev software project. We have our priorities. We have the scheme, which similar to schemes that we've probably already talked about in the series, it's going to be a box for certain things to reside in that can be for that project. So this project may have different priorities than let's say an HR project. So using different schemes allows that to happen across your projects. The nice thing is too, is having a scheme, maybe it's just a development priority scheme that can then be used for all of your development projects and you're not having to go to each single project to update the priority. When you update a scheme, that scheme is updated for all the priorities that you're using. Not just with priorities, but that's how schemes work in general in JIRA. So if a scheme is related to more than just one project, it's gonna make that update in all of the projects. So what are priorities and how are priorities used in JIRA? Priorities are the way to, well, prioritize your work items. So with the priorities here and having a priority scheme, you can determine how you want to prioritize the work that comes into your JIRA project, your JIRA service management project, however you seem fit. So in this one, we're going to look at this mobile dev project. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to see what priorities we currently have in here. We have critical highest, high, medium, low, lowest, and informational. You'll see here that critical has a label next to it, default. So what does the default label mean? What that means is if a ticket were to be created, work item were to be created without a priority being selected, it would default to the critical priority. Now this scheme that we're using in this project is actually one that comes out of the box in JIRA. It is a default priority scheme. So let's go ahead and let's look inside the scheme. Let's talk more about priorities. So when you click on that link in the project, it's going to take you to this view. Another way to get here is by going to the cog up here and going to your JIRA admin and you can select issues and it will take you to here. You'll navigate on the sides bar and there's priority schemes. So let's talk about schemes and we'll talk about after that priorities. The scheme information is going to show you a few things, the name of the scheme and the description of the scheme. The priorities it's currently using, once again that default label, which projects are using it so this way you know if it's being used by multiple projects, and then actions. The only action we have right now is to edit. You'll see that we don't have any other priority schemes, but it's really simple to add. You can select up here on the top right hand side, add priority schemes. We're going to go ahead and give this a demo scheme description. And then from here, we can select the priorities that we want. Now, we'll see right now that these are the priorities that are available. Maybe the wording or these priorities don't really match what you need or what you want to have in a priority scheme. Why do you add a priority? Well, let's talk about that here in a second. Let's go ahead. Let's say right now we think high, medium, and low are going to, to fit right now. So we'll hit add scheme. That scheme is going to be created. Now, the scheme is currently not added to any projects. This is sitting out here. It is just out in the wild. We can add a project by selecting that plus button and then choosing a project that we want to add it to. So let's go ahead, let's add it to our marketing services. We'll hit next. Now, 
if this is a project it's already going to have a priority scheme you see it's taking over that default priority scheme that we had before we would then have to map these so we can just go high medium and low and hit save and now you see that this demo scheme is now being used for marketing services so when we were adding this scheme we talked about what if these priorities don't make sense to you the out of the box priorities don't really work for your team your company or what you're trying to achieve it's pretty simple to add one here so you'll see on this left hand side where we're already at priority schemes in the jira admin settings under issues we will then go ahead and go to priorities now that we're in the priority scheme there's a few things that you can see and do you're going to see the order of the priority so is it a higher ranking priority or is it a lower ranking priority the name of it along with an icon a description the color of the priority what scheme it belongs to and then here you can edit delete or you can also move it within the order of the priority so let's go ahead what happens when we go to edit one from here there's a few things you could do you could change the name change the description change the icon or change the color so how do we add a new priority well we could just simply come over here select add priority we would enter that priority's name so let's just call this risk low enter a description And then from here we could choose an icon you can choose the icons that are currently available or you can upload an icon as well we're just going to go ahead and select this circle we can then choose a color so let's go with a nice dark teal we would hit add priority and now you'll see here we have our new priority it's going to always go whenever you add a new priority it's always going to reside in that default priority scheme it's always going to sit there so that's one thing to keep in mind that as you add priorities that default priority scheme is going to continue to grow and grow and grow and get bigger so if there's projects that are using it any priorities that you add are just going to continue to grow into projects using the default priority scheme this is why it's always kind of best to think about not using the default priority scheme if you're creating custom priorities because it will just continue to grow so it's always best to kind of try to change that up unless you're only using maybe a project or two and you're not doing anything different with the priorities and you're not adding new priorities or you want those priorities to be there across all projects so you'll see here now as we look at the default priority scheme risk low is added so what if we wanted to add it to another scheme the risk low priority that we have created so what we do is we can go here into our priority schemes in the same area that we were at before we could sit up go over here and select edit and then we can just simply add that low risk priority directly to it so that's how you work the priorities on the admin side of a jira project this is how you can prioritize your work what does it look like when you see it inside of a work item so here we are now in a work item for that same project now where the priority resides at is dependent on how the screen is set up which if you watch our what makes a jira project screens video that will show you how to make those kind of updates from the admin side but if you're viewing a ticket you can look over here on the right hand side in your details panel and you'll see that your priority is going to be on that right hand side and from here it's going to show critical and depending on once again how it's set up you may be able to make that update just by clicking on the field and then changing it to a new priority and that will update the priority automatically and another way to kind of see those priorities is through filters or even boards so you'll see here we're looking currently at all of the issues that we have within our 
mobile dev project. And you'll see that we currently have it within our list view, the priority field select. You can see all your priorities here and what they are selected as. You can even do filtering on your priorities. So as you can see, priorities play a large part of how you prioritize your work in JIRA, in JIRA service management. One thing to always keep in mind is to make sure that you're using the correct priorities in the correct project. If you're using that default scheme, make sure you make updates that are necessary for the other projects using that scheme, or maybe have a new priority scheme. I've been Brian with Release Team. I appreciate you watching today's video on what makes a JIRA project priorities. Please stick tuned to the rest of this series where we go over all the internal aspects of what makes a JIRA project. Until next time, have a great one.